Okay, so I want to make a comparison video between three cameras that I use a lot and that I've used in the past. The T7i, 60 Mark II, and the 90D, which I'm filming with right now. The comparisons I'm going to do here are going to be side by side with the exact same setting. Same. The whole goal here is to compare with the same lens, the same setup, every single thing, every aspect of the camera is the same. So you kind of give the best comparison that I can give on this video. So this is the base photo that we're going to work off from all three cameras. And let's start here by trying to pull as much of the shadows up as possible and see which one works the best here. Now, as you can see, the 60 Mark II brings it up the most, but introduces a little bit more noise than the others. As far as pulling up the highlights, or I should say suppressing the highlights, I think the 60 Mark II here also does the best job and pulls the most detail out of the highlights. Um, now let's take it with the noise reduction software added. And again, I think the 6D Mark II does the best job here, although the other two do an okay job. Um, with the Tamron 150 to 600, the 6D Mark II, in my opinion, becomes noticeably sharper when it's zoomed in 100%. So as you look here, uh, the 90D seems to struggle in this particular instance. But the 60 Mark II is just way ahead here. Now, let's look at the detail here for the fine writing. Here, the T7i really struggled in this test, but the 60 Mark II did a great job as usual. Um, now let's go to video. For video, I just think the 90D has been proven to be way ahead of the other two in both 1080p and obviously the, its ability to shoot 4K. But as you can see here, the T7i actually holds up really well against the 6D Mark II. I'd put those two neck and neck. But again, the 90D with its 4K capabilities and its 1080p being much sharper, I just think it's, it's head and shoulders above the other two. First up, we're going to go with the 6D Mark II. And we're going high speed continuous and seeing how long it takes for the buffer to fill up. So let's start it. T7i. High speed continuous shooting. Test this guy. So that is it. That's my attempt to compare the three for image quality and, uh, you know, comparing some high speed continuous, you know, just some basic things that the everyday shooter might be curious about, you know, some Lightroom, uh, your shadows, your highlights. They do react differently. Definitely the 60 Mark II being full frame reacts differently, especially in Lightroom. I don't feel like I can do as much with the 90D RAW files, which are CR3, that I can do on the, the T7i and the 6D Mark II. I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's because it's CR3. I, I don't know. But hopefully that's something that they either get fixed or if that's, you know, maybe it's the larger sensor. I, I don't know. Um, as, it, as proven here again, when it comes to video, the 90D is just extremely sharp and the 1080p the 4k which i don't it couldn't even show on here but it's just it's it's head and shoulders above the other two as far as video but as far as photography and photos go and in lightroom i think it's pretty close and i think the 6d mark ii is still always going to be my go-to because it's full frame and it just reacts differently with the way it handles light and the way you can pull and pull pull and push shadows and stuff like that so uh that's it uh hopefully this was helpful for anybody out there looking to differentiate or you know looking to decide on which ones to get and if you have any questions feel free to ask otherwise uh, thank you for watching and have a fantastic day